Hello and welcome to a new series on the channel. This is Euro Trucking on Euro Truck Simulator 2. I've wanted to start up an ETS2 series again for a long time. I did have Survival Trucking, which ran a few episodes, but there were just a lot of things involved and it didn't quite carry on as I would like it to, and I wasn't really happy with how it was going anyways. So, this is my opportunity to rectify that and uh, come in back to ETS2, a game I do absolutely love, probably second only to Farming Simulator. Uh, so we are going to crack on with it. Now, as you can see, the map here is very extensive. Uh, that is because we do have Pro Mods installed. Now, I know currently it, having Pro Mods does have a bit of issue with the West Balkans area, and I do have the DLC for it, but the Pro Mods area is over overwrites the new DLC so what I'm thinking is hopefully by the time we make our way down to the West Balkans area which I have to admit the DLC is fantastic but Pro Mods is so good so we can't really not use it but by the time hopefully we get down here uh, either we'll enjoy it as it is with Pro Mods or the merge will be available for Pro Mods and the uh, SCS uh, DLC and it'll all be it'll all work together so anyways we are going to start in the UK now as you can see there's much more UK than there is in base game including Ireland as well and uh, much more of Scotland all the way up here to Kirkwall uh, the Faroe Islands Iceland as well and North Scandinavia and uh, Greece here even though that's going to be an official uh, DLC in time but, and all the way down to Malta as well, uh, yeah, just so much, and the Isle of Man, I don't think the Isle of Man is an actual uh, uh, available area on base game ETS2. So, that is why we are on Pro Mods, and I have decided we are going to start all the way up at the highest possible point in the United Kingdom that we can do in Kirkwall. That's way up in Scotland, way, way far away. So we are going to start there because my thinking is we can make our way all the way through the UK, get down to Ireland, traverse all the way here. London is completely reworked as well uh, in, uh, in with pro mods and then we can venture off into the rest of the, uh, into Europe, mainland Europe. Since we are going to be starting with quick jobs. Uh, once we get into Europe, the trucks will be on the left hand side, will be driving on the right versus in the UK. It'll be the opposite. Uh, the nice thing about starting here is that we, when we do eventually buy our own lorry, we'll be able to travel uh, straight away to Iceland, which will be a very exciting uh, venture indeed. So we are going to get started here in Kirkwall. We do not need the tutorial, played this many times they do start you off with something straight away so we are going from Kirkwall to a Broadford with sheep wool ah right back to the farming sim <laughs> aesthetic indeed right before we crack on I do need to get my controls for my wheel set up and we'll be right back all right here we are back in the lorry so the first thing we're going to do is remove the uh, mirrors there you can have them up so you can see a bit better but i want to keep it as realistic and pos as possible including removing the uh, advisory thing there if for whatever reason let's say we're to start a job oh we can keep the parking brake off if we start a job that does not have a sat nav in i would like to have the audio directions to help us sort of guide our way around now let's have a look here beautiful beautiful Kirkwall never been personally but here we are in a beautiful Scania R730 and it is a beautiful lorry indeed now this is just the very first lorry that we're going to get the quick jobs if you've never played DTS they uh, they do require well they do have a number of different ones but as you can see here we've got Right, it doesn't show. It should show somewhere here. Distance on. But that's no problem. We'll keep it on, on that there. Right, and we are off. Let's make our way. So as we as we mosey through, I will discuss a few of the things that I've uh, done to it. So I do have a few mods on that really do improve the realism of the game for sure. One of them is real companies. So as you can see, we've got a DHL uh, trailer here. So that's really nice. 
Now, if there is anything in particular that seems that I'm doing that's unrealistic as far as driving a lorry, which I have never done in real life, I would love to hear from you to tell me straight <laughs> if that's the case. Anyways, as we start, we'll make sure there's no cars coming. Right, there we are. I'm very, very excited to get this started, especially with Pro Mods. I haven't used Pro Mods since... Actually, you know what? The last time I used Pro Mods was when I did the last Euro Truck series, really. Um, my uh, survival trucking series, which this is kind of the same because we are starting with absolutely no money, zero experience. We are uh, we're making our way here in the uh, beautiful Scotland countryside here, or Scottish island really. And uh, yeah, I'm just very excited to get this started. So as we go through everything, I will kind of explain what the plan is. Really, I guess I can explain it in a couple of sentences. Is that we're going to be trucking through Europe and um, and that's that really <laughs> we're gonna work our way up to we do own a garage or at least we will once we get this first uh, tutorial sort of drive out of the way uh, this quick job they obviously enabled us to have automatically which is absolutely fine because it is a good way for us to uh, make our way to mainland UK which is exactly what we're doing now there are going to be probably bits here and there that are time-lapsed because of long distances and all that sort of thing, but for the most part I would like to do as much of the uh, the driving straight up as possible. And I think now I have included a mod that uh, allows for immersive um, sort of triggers, which means you can't see them all the time. Oh, brilliant. Okay, good. So we're going to Stromness here, or sorry, to Thurso from Stromness, absolutely fantastic, 150 euros, we're already digging into our money, but we are going to get over 5,000 euros for this particular journey, which is really great. Uh, in fact, I forgot to change two things. One moment. Alright, so what I've changed is, one, I now have the ability to zoom in here, which I forgot about, and also I've now changed, and of course I have in I have put the rain probability up to 50% because uh, we are in the UK after all. Now, I'm a bit lost here about which way to go. Just don't want to go the wrong way. Here we are. Go this way. Welcome to Scotland. Thank you very much. And uh, the other thing I did was change to British pounds. So, as you can see there, we now have 1,750 pounds instead of whatever we had in... Uh, in euros so let's get started without crashing into anybody drive on the left okay I will try to remember to do that but yes we do have rain probability at 50% if it's a bit much we can reduce it uh, but I thought it would be a good opportunity to be as realistic as possible especially while we are in the UK right so I keep hitting my hazard lights because I've got them set a bit different than what I'm used to having for the uh, the wiper blades there so we are all set now uh, pro mods if you haven't tried it is absolutely fan bloody tastic uh, I was on the fence about it because I was going to start with the new West Balkans DLC and I know as I said before there is a bit of um, a con not a conflict really but a bit of a uh, an issue between the two between oh blimey already causing issues mate blimey uh, there is a bit of an issue with that as far as um, you know what I think I still have my settings in kph as well because so I don't think this would be a 50 mile road so let me just get that fixed up very quickly all right we're back at it again I guess it is uh, 50 50 miles this road so I suppose it is a, a bit of a country road in it so that should be fine can always open this up as well to see if we are speeding or not but it, you can see it is 45 miles per hour there so we'll keep that closed because we do not need that open and uh, there we are we are making our way through rainy Scotland as you'd expect uh, rainy as always so <laughs> a beautiful beautiful countryside it's so much extra detail in uh, pro mods it's unreal for example this area that we're currently driving in isn't even available in base game euro truck simulator 
so it really does add on. The, a few other things I've done is uh, real advertisements, um, what else have I done, a denser traffic, so there will be more traffic on the roads as well, and uh, a few little things like that. So yeah, if there are any other questions about the mods I'm using or any other suggestions as well for mods, uh, please do, in fact, let me know. So, nice thing is we can always check. It says that we... Oh, now we're speeding. Right. We'll keep cruise control on just so we're not speeding. Uh, but as you can see, we do have five and a half hours to go. 219 miles as well. We can zoom in and see the full route. So, this might be an opportunity uh, for a time lapse. Although, as I say, I would like to keep it as... Uh, straight on as possible without too many time lapses but there are going to be stretches where we they, they're just necessary they are absolutely necessary and um, if the <laughs> if the rain does become problematic uh, because it does make it quite dark as well so if it does become problematic then uh, please let me know and we can change that probability uh, away from 50 but there you go had it on 50 and it rained as soon as we got into Scotland so there you go Right, well, there's not much more for me to say at this point other than what a glorious lorry we are in. Absolutely fantastic as we make our way to... And I've forgotten. In Broad... Where are we going? Broadford, right, right, right. Okay. Nothing coming... Oh, this is, yeah, a bit tough. So I've got the, uh, I've got the buttons, the R, L3 and, oh, you can let me in, Copper. Oh, wow. The R3 and L3 buttons on my steering wheel, which is the G29 um, for looking around. And, um, as well as having the camera interior reset all set up as well on L2. Uh, R2 I've got set as this one here, because why not? It uh, makes for some very nice, uh, you know, nice scenery and take some nice cheeky screenshots at the same time. Isn't that lovely? That might be a thumbnail. I, that's one thing I find about Euro Truck is that when I'm taking thumbnails on FS, I can uh, kind of place it a bit better. And there is a camera mode as well, like a, an actual photo mode on on Euro Truck. But yeah, it's uh, we'll, we'll we'll get used to using it. Fret not. Right. Look at this beautiful countryside, indeed. Let's see how we doing. Yeah, we're making our way, but there is still quite a uh, trip to do. Usually, the first quick job that you do doesn't take you this far. I, f I find that this is actually quite quite a distance uh, for the first quick job of the of our career in Euro Trucks. So that's pretty interesting that it would take us all this way. I'm gonna slow it down a bit here. Also on the uh, little, if you do have a G29 steering wheel, you know the, the little red wheel that you have at the bottom right of your of your steering wheel. Um, that is to activate and, uh, and disable, of course, the uh, engine retarder so that we can slow it down without needing to uh, use the brake in that, which is very efficient for this kind of circumstances at least. So look at that, absolutely stunning scenes here on the coast, absolutely gorgeous absolutely gorgeous and the castles so much detail oh so good i'm going to quit rumbling now and uh, i think this is a good opportunity for us to enjoy some beautiful scottish countryside in a time lapse Right, well, we didn't get that far before we had to move on here to ending the time lapse, but as you can see, we have a bit of a uh, situation. I'm not entirely certain what's going on here, as this someone probably tried to drive into that lorry. Now, I could be a bit cheeky and go around here, but uh, I would like to try and wait it out and see if it gets rectified itself. Somebody's hon honking at someone. Now this is this is the kind of situation. Sometimes this happens, especially when you have the denser traffic. But it seems that the AI is quite dense as well. 
um, <laughs> to have this sort of situation happen. I think we might have to be a bit cheeky because there is clearly maybe if we if we honk, give a bit of beeping. No, that's all right. Right, we'll be a bit cheeky. Just gonna go round this way. Sometimes you have to. That is nothing to do with. Let's have a look though. See what's happened. Nothing's even going on. He's just stopped. Right, well that is very inconvenient for all other drivers on the road. Uh, but not for us because we are now making our way. We should probably have our lights on as well given that it is raining. But we crack on once again. These are some absolutely lovely windy roads and we have some beautiful scenery all around and um, I'm just enjoying this so much. I've never actually driven up this way uh, with ProMods, not uh, north of uh, Scotland or I've gone to Iceland and that in the, in the past but never have I gone this far north. Oh, sorry mate, I thought you were going to go a bit quicker than that. Thanks very much, thank you. Right. Uh, another reason that I did set the rain probability so high um, is n not just because of the UK, but because of the rain mod that I'm using. And I apologize off the top of my head, I can't remember exactly what it's called, but it is fantastic. Just the rain, it looks so good on the windows and that, it just looks absolutely brilliant. Look at these views though try and drive us straight on. There was one incident, I don't know if you noticed, I veered a bit off to the road uh, turning because the rain, it does add a, a slip, a slippiness to the road, as it would because it's rain and we have, you know, a very heavy lorry. I don't know how heavy in particular here. What does it say? 13 tons, yeah, all right. Pretty heavy. Right, so we are approaching closer, much closer to our destination than we've ever been, which is fantastic. Uh, that being said, I'm not entirely certain how uh, exactly how long these episodes are going to be. They they will probably most likely vary a lot. Um, oh, not what I was after. There we go. Um, because again, with the time lapses and the fact that I want to show as much of the beautiful scenery as possible, while also making certain that we get to our destination in a timely manner. That's the other thing as well, so <clears throat> a combination of the two will be very necessary, of course. Um, but as we approach darkness here, it will be... I, and I will try and... I will try and drive as often as I can during the day. The problem with that is that when you're in a, uh, a quick job, you can't... You, you can rest in a job. You can't rest outside of a job because you don't have a lorry to go to a rest stop to rest at which is fine, but uh, it would be nice to have to have our own lorry, and we will in time. Another reason I really want to start this series with the 1.49 update, uh, which by the way, with Pro Mods is 2.68. That's the current combination of the two. Uh, but yes, uh, the reason I want to do that is because we have now, we have used lorries, a used dealership option. So with that, we can purchase uh, used lorries and uh, get them fixed up and they're much cheaper on the most part I'd imagine uh, to a brand new lorry and here we are we've finally arrived at our destination so as you can see here with this uh, sort of uh, manhole cover here 
this great raid here. That is where there would normally be a trigger, but we don't have that because of the mod that I've implemented. It's an immersive something or other like that. So uh, we will absolutely do as often as possible to get as much of the experience as we can, although we might have to maneuver around a bit. You are, mate. Where is it? Oh, look at that. We've covered quite a distance. Right, so it's over there, is it? I just want to be able to show you the little... Yeah, do you see the, the little pylons there? I think that's what you would call them. Um, I suppose we could probably go this way and reverse in, but I'm going to try it this way. And I will also try it in first person. Now, there might be a, an opportunity where I can do it in third person, but I would like to try and do it as often as possible in first person. Right, the first one is going to be a bit of a thing. Let's get spun round like this. We've given ourselves a bit of a difficult situation here. But we can try it nonetheless. Once we get lined up a bit better, we'll have a better idea of how far away we are from where we need to be. As long as I'm not, you know, smashing into any other lorries, we should be fine. Now, the only button I've ever had... Oh, wow, I'm way off here. The only button I've ever had for my uh, windows is was the keypad buttons. Now, unfortunately for us, well, for me in this case in particular, I don't actually have any uh, keypad buttons anymore because I've, uh, for Christmas, I did receive a new keyboard which actually has no uh, buttons. The 10 keyless, whatever it's called. So I don't have the windows down option really, but that is not a problem because I'm a master parker. I'm only joking, I'm not, but let's get leveled up. We did make it, we made it, we didn't crash into anybody or anything, but uh, I would like to at least level out. There we go. Fantastic, get this out, I'm already parked. No need to assist me with my parking. Brilliant! And we can remove the trailer, and we've made it. Our first job complete. 257 miles, 8 hours, quite a bit of fuel, but it is a company lorry, so no problem there. Trailer maneuvering, did we ever maneuver it? <laughs> and we got the extra experience for it. So, we can crack on from there. Absolutely brilliant. And of course, after your first quick job, they do say this is your headquarters. Uh, yes, it looks a bit uh, shabby at the moment, but look at the beautiful scenery in the background. We're right on the ocean. It's absolutely fantastic. Yes, it is very small. Unfortunately, we don't have any. Yeah, no trucks in sight. Thanks, mate. Bring it up. Uh, that's the point. We are trying to earn enough to be able to buy our own. So here is our main page. This is me, Mr. Grumbles with Grumbles Logistics, of course, and we do have £6,000 now, which is pretty good. Now, we don't have the option to view any used trucks yet, uh, which is fine. Uh, we do have skill. Oh, we can upgrade our skills as well. What do we want to do? Now, normally I'd go for long distance so that we can go as far as possible, but I am going to try and stay within the UK for as long as possible, as... What something else I wanted to mention before is that uh, sorry, let me just choose one of these before I ramble on. Could do high value, but I think I'd like to go for the ADR things. Let's go for this. As some I do deal with on a day-to-day -day basis is potassium and sodium hydroxide, so we might as well deliver it in the game as well. So let's apply that. Brilliant. And those jobs usually pay quite well. So the the thing is with the base game of ETS2. So we've automatically, we're back in Kirkwall, but my plan is to go do quick jobs from where we've arrived, because that's more realistic. You wouldn't automatically go back home after you've finished a job, even if it's a quick job versus a freight market or cargo market job. But what I was going to say about the UK is that I think, so we do have up to Aberdeen, but we don't have anything else up here we haven't even reached into the base game part yet and the roads all around london and all through the uk and of course ireland here are f far more um fleshed out and uh, they are yeah very more much more detail as well very more <laughs> very more detail <laughs> so i'm just too bloody excited 
So this is in fact the first job we did, Kirkwall through Thurso all the way down to Broadford and uh, near to Portree. So we might even uh, be able to pop over here. I will try and pronounce those in time, not a problem, but we do have all of this area to explore. So I am hoping that, oh we can, brilliant. So let's have a look. So th I haven't really looked at this yet because this is all very new to me as well. This I've played very little of the new update because I wanted to save it for a series. So it shows all the conditions of the different used trucks that we can buy. So it does show, of course, if it's in excellent condition, it's basically brand new with some of these have 32,000 miles and they're still nearly 100,000 pounds, which is a lot. We want something, I mean, this would be a bit difficult because you basically want to completely restore it or replace it. We don't need our lorry breaking down on us on the road. So we'll just have to wait and see. We have not nearly enough money for this. We do want right hand drive because we are staying in the UK for a while. Um, I mean, even something like this would be nice because look how much cheaper and it's still quite good. Actually, we have to see how... I think that's still 95,000 brand new. So it, uh, hopefully we can get something with even three stars and have to work on it a bit. I don't mind that at all. As long as we can actually afford our own lorry. And um, for truck dealers, so yeah, since I did... Um, sexual trucks. Yes, yes, very good. Um, so yes, there is a Scania dealer in Aberdeen, but we are not even near to that yet. Uh, we And also I have no, no modded... Uh, lorries because there are some that are very inexpensive but I really wanted to take advantage of the used lorry opportunity so yes we have brand new and used available fantastic but this is where we will end episode one uh, we did our first job we are still in the UK we're going to do lots in the UK before we venture off into Europe uh, simply because as I was trying to say a few times and I didn't quite get it down uh, the UK in base game vanilla ETS 2 is fairly old it, it, it shows its age uh, to, to be honest and um, and that's kind of a, a going thing in the ETS 2 community is that the UK really does need a rework in the base game vanilla version of ETS 2 but thanks to an amazing free mod like Pro Mods we get so much more of the UK and detailed areas within the base game as well so it's really really brilliant very excited for it all uh, we will look at quick jobs from Broadford in the next episode but this is it for today we are level one now which is fantastic look at our rating skyrocketing at 0.8 very very exciting indeed right well I hope you've enjoyed this new series I uh, do intend on uh, carrying on for a while with it it just already feels so much better than the first survival trucking one that i was doing um i didn't really have a full idea going into that series but this one i am i have an idea and i'm fully ready for it and i'm just bloody excited very excited for it and um a few months ago actually a couple months ago i did run a community poll uh, asking about whether or not i should revive essentially revive my survival trucking series and um there was about 65% in favor of it. So give the people what they want. And I wanted to uh, get back into Euro Truck as well. So I'm very pleased to have done that. Uh, anyways, enough rambling from me. Thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed the video, a cheeky thumbs up really does help out the channel. And please subscribe. So until the next one, please do take care. And bye for now.